Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. A quick update on Bitcoin here. Uh, it's uh, now it's going up. Uh, it seems it's recovering. Mm, so, but uh, it was expected. At least uh, that's what I what I expected. I said it was gonna bounce uh, back up uh, and try to break the five thousand dollar mark. I'm not sure how close it's going to be from the 5,000, if it's going to be a little bit below, a little bit above, but I was expecting a few green candles here going up and now probably every everyone is uh, thinking this is uh, going back to the, you know, to bullish, it's going to go to 6,000 or I don't think, I see something similar with, uh, with what happened here when we touched uh, 4,000. 4,400 and we had this crash down to 3.8 so big crash from 4.4 to 3.8 but what happened is the next day it just recovered all the way up and even broke the previous high going to 4.5 almost but after this is when we had the real crash um, and we went down to 3.6 so uh, these are the daily candles by the way Bitcoin versus US dollar from Bitstamp now I see something similar. I mean, this happened here and this happened uh, before. Uh, like it's happened a few times it, it goes up then it crashes big time but then uh, it quickly recovers touched the uh, touches the previous high or maybe pass pass it for a little bit and then it's when we have the real crash it's happened three times I'm thinking it's going to happen now uh, of course I could be wrong it might uh, you know if it breaks the five thousand dollar mark and we see huge volume here you, you can see signs of strength and yeah why not or maybe we could have a parabolic movement but uh, so far I don't see it uh, I don't see it coming I think it's going to be close to 5,000 maybe a little bit below a little bit above I think it's going to be going up until the end of the week and I see we're going to see the the red days on the weekend again uh, but yeah again I could be wrong so I me personally I'm out of here I think there's more potential to short when it crashes I think it's going to crash uh, somewhere in the 3,000 level uh, maybe 28 maybe 32 somewhere here uh, I think there's more potential to short from five to, to three than going long now from, you know, from four, five to, to five. So that's what I see. Uh, for Bitcoin, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm, I'm staying away from the from the market as a whole right now until until the situation with Bitcoin results. Uh, as you already know, I'm a huge fan of Bitcoin Cash, uh, but I sold it. I sold my Bitcoin Cash. Uh, sorry, I sold it for USD Tether. So I'm going to show the chart for USD Tether. So I sold it actually three like three or four days ago. I didn't make a video of this, but I sold it in this red candle when it was bouncing i sold it exactly for 586 okay 586 i did just a little bit of profit not much because i bought at six then i sold for the same price and then i bought back in back in cheaper somewhere here and then i sold when it bounced up and i i'm staying away since then uh even though you know i sold for five uh eight six so if i would have held i right now is uh five uh sorry 650 so there's a little gain there but i don't care i prefer to wait for the bitcoin situation to resolve first if it can if he, if bitcoin can break the five thousand uh mark in a powerful movement we see volume and all that maybe i'll think about going long on bitcoin cash but if not i'm gonna stay away i prefer to stay away of this until until bitcoin resolves the situation because if if bitcoin uh crashes from five thousand to three thousand uh everything could crash uh with bitcoin so so I prefer to just wait. Let's see what happen, what happens on the weekend. I mean, I'm you know I'm not in a rush. I don't need to to buy every day or or to be trading all the time. I prefer to to just wait for the situation to resolve. Okay, that's all for Bitcoin Cash. The only one coin I'm holding. So I'm I'm looking at three coins at the moment. I never look at one thousand coins. You know, I I only look at you know two, three, maybe sometimes only one. Um, so the one I'm looking at and I'm actually holding is Zen Cash. I talked about this one a few videos ago. Uh, so I think it touched bottom here at um, 0 0.0011 uh, Bitcoin. And since then it's been uptrending. So it bounced here, it consolidated. Uh, we have uh, we see big green volume here and it's been uptrending. And now when Bitcoin was crashing, this one crashed as well. So it broke down the the, the channel on the on the 
downside. So sometimes when this happens, when channels are broken on the downside, then it, they just shoot up to the top of the channel. Or if they bre break the channel in the way up, uh, then they shoot up, shoot down to the to the bottom of the channel. So they go, you know, from one extreme to the next. I am thinking maybe this happens now, but if not, in a, uh, if anything. This is this is making a perfect rounded bottom, and usually rounded bottoms when they break uh, break out they they go up uh, very high. So I just like the technicals in this one, and I also like the fundamentals. Uh, and on the technicals also the moving averages just crossed here a few days ago. These are the one day candles by the way. So a few days ago the moving averages crossed uh, signaling a buy signal. So if you would have bought here you would have been uh, in a little bit of profit. You would have been down uh, here for a couple of days and then up a little bit. So it's not doing much yet but I think it could uh, I mean it has the potential to continue to go up. But of course um, if Bitcoin crashes big time uh, you know this could go down as well and if, even even break down this uh this bottom support line here it, there's you know it could happen what i have invested in this coin is so little that i don't even care if it goes you know below this line i i'm not it's very 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 little money what i put here so i'm willing to hold it. this one I'm, I'm not really looking into trade into trade it uh, but I'm watching it every day. I'm not suggesting or advising anyone to buy it. You need to do your own analysis. And as I said, I have put so li such little money that I don't even, I'm not even going to stress if it actually goes down. But I think it has more potential to go up. So that's just sharing my, you know, my what I'm doing. <clears throat> it's not advice for anyone. And I wanted to finish this video uh, showing... Uh, I was watching the latest uh, video by Roger Ver. He just uploaded uh, a video today um, and I was reading the comments and someone said, great to hear from you, man. As John McAfee said, Bitcoin Cash will be the only one standing. And people were asking for a link for this and uh, they, someone shared the link to Twitter and here you have it. Segwit attempted to solve the wrong problem and successfully. There will only be Bitcoin Cash in the end. We must have longer blocks by John McAfee, the 2nd of August. So there you go for all, uh, for all you fans of, um, of McAfee when he was saying Bitcoin going to half million dollars or $300,000. Uh, there you go, his statement on, on Bitcoin Cash. Now I tra I tra I had to to do two transactions with Bitcoin the other day, not for me but for a friend of mine. She wanted to transfer half Bitcoin to local Bitcoins and half Bitcoin to Bitrix to change it for US dollars uh, for USD Tether. So I helped her do it. Uh, she's the one that invited me to this seminar for next week. Uh, I helped her buy one Bitcoin uh, last time I was in New Zealand about three months ago before I started this YouTube channel. I helped her buy one Bitcoin. Uh, she bought exactly 1.1 uh, Bitcoin. And I remember the day she bought it, it was 1,400. And now I just came back to New Zealand and she said, I want to sell it because this has gone too high and I prefer to sell it and just wait until it corrects and then I might uh, buy again when it's cheaper. But for now, I prefer to, you know, to take my profits. <clears throat> so she... She sent half Bitcoin to local Bitcoins and half Bitcoin to Bitrix and she just kept uh, 0 0.1 Bitcoin on her Electrum wallet. So she paid for each transaction 15 American dollars. She, she paid $15 to transfer half Bitcoin and again $15 to transfer the other half Bitcoin. She paid total uh, $30 in fees. I think this is uh, just a gross. Uh, to transfer one Bitcoin you have to pay uh, $30. That was the minimum fee allowed by the Electrum wallet. And uh, Segwit, uh, it, Segwit didn't fix the, the fees problem and it will not fix it. And this is just a fact that not the Lightning Network is not going to fix it either because they, because they just don't want to lower the fees. They know there's demand, so they're going to continue to, you know, to, to abuse it and to charge high fees. They don't, they're not interested in changing that since they don't see Bitcoin as a currency. I don't even know why they call it cryptocurrency anymore because it cannot be used as a currency. It can only be used for, for keeping it in, in your wallet and hoping it's going to go up forever. 
<laughs> so uh, just to clarify, I have always been a Bitcoin max maximalist. I never been a fan of altcoins and I am not today. Uh, the only reason I buy and sell altcoins is for the money. But the reason behind Bitcoin was never the money to me. I discovered Bit Bitcoin back in 2013. Uh, I showed that in, a, in one of my previous videos, I'm sure. I created a Facebook page uh, in, back in 2013. It's called Bitcoin for Liberty. It was all about the ideal and the potential uh, of Bitcoin to not only change the world, but to save the world, you know, and to get us all out of this corrupt system that we live in. Uh, being able to replace fiat and to undermine any government or any authority. But uh, this is just, uh, it became impossible um, recently, since the beginning of this year in 2017. It became impossible to transact with Bitcoin. The fees went up and up and up and up. I mean, it's uh, I'm, I'm sad, but uh, what can you do, right? You just have to accept it. So I think they just destroyed Bitcoin. There's no turning back anymore. Uh, people is not going to trust it. And the market is going to show this sooner or later. I don't know how long it's going to take, but uh, people is going gonna, is gonna to go for Bitcoin Cash, which is the only one decentralized now and uh, cheap like, it, like Bitcoin used to be and, uh, and fast. Yeah, as I said, I talk, I, I've been a bit po Bitcoin promoter for, for years, since 2013. I talked about Bitcoin with every person I met in my life, uh, how it has the power to change everything. But I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore. So yeah, I'm, go I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to be going for Bitcoin Cash. This is all for this video, guys. Thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.